Hi everyone, my name is Molly Hinker and I am one of the co-chairs for the POD Family Program. I'm also the PE teacher here at school and that sometimes leads me to being the lunch monitor. So this video is going to tell you everything you need to know about lunch at Mother Teresa. First thing is we have four different lunch periods. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders eat together. Fourth and fifth graders eat together. Second and third graders eat together. And then kindergartners and first graders eat together. Um, the cool thing about this is if your child does not have class with a friend or somebody that they really hope that they'd be in class with, they get to see the, everybody in their whole grade every single day at lunch and recess, which is really awesome. So you can tell them that that might help ease some first day jitters if they were hoping to be in class with a friend. Um, so they can eat lunch with their whole grade every day. Now the different thing about Mother Teresa um, is that you, if your child wants to purchase a lunch, we do bring in lunch every day. We don't do any of the cooking at our school, um, but we, a caterer comes in and provides us with a hot lunch, which is awesome, but it's different because you have to order all of your lunches one month in advance. So this is how you do it. You're going to get onto option C. So this is what you're going to get onto your home page. Then you're going to go to the office tab and you're going to go down to lunch orders. Now normally once this next lunch is posted and we will not have hot lunch until September. So that whole first week of school, um, usually there's not hot lunch. So plan on packing. But you'll get into your lunch orders and this will look like there'll be a date here on the left hand side and then it'll say hot lunch up here and all you do is you're going to go to the date that your child wants to buy go on over it'll say quantity and you're just going to put one in the number one for whenever they want to buy so what i do and this also will be listed here shortly but you'll go to the file library to find the lunch menu and there it'll also be sent to you via email so our office staff is really good about sending out reminders like hey all lunch orders for September are going to be due on August, whatever date they, they have there that it's due. So make sure that you're putting those on your calendar so you don't miss the lunch orders. Um, but when they, when they do send that email out, there'll be a little link and it'll direct you right back to option C and it will actually give you the lunch menu. And that lunch menu is going to look like a, it's like a calendar view and it'll be the date, whatever they're having for lunch that day. And, and that's what it looks like. Now what I do for my kids, because my kids both go to school here and it's easier for me, I print out that lunch menu. And I'm like, hey, if you want to buy, put your initial on there. So I have them do that first. And then once I have one they want to buy, I go in and I put in their lunch, their lunch order. So if you have multiple children at the school, you will have to click on each one and put in their order individually. Um, so for my daughter here, I would click on her name, I would put in her order, I'd hit save on the bottom, and then I would go in and go into my son, and I would do the same thing for him. But then having that hard copy there at my house, I put it on the fridge, that way I know what days they're buying, and they know what days they're buying. Um, but it is very important that you do follow that deadline, because if you don't get it in by the deadline, you're going to go a whole month without your kid buying lunch. Um, so if your kid wants to buy, make sure you're meeting those deadlines. Um, also, the cool thing is not only do we have hot lunch, but the caterer also provides things like bagels and cream cheese, chef salads, yogurt parfaits. Um, so you can also order those here on option C as well. There are special days sometimes at lunch. So Fridays are Jets pizza days. So Jets actually brings in tons of pizza on Fridays. It works as an eighth grade fundraiser for their Washington DC trip, but you can order your pizza same way that you order all the other lunches. It'll say pizza lunch there and you just order um, how many slices you would like. So that's kind of neat. Um, usually once a month we have smoothie day and that is when our PTO brings in Smoothie King. That's also a fundraiser. Again, you order it all here, same way you order your lunch on option C. And then on Fridays we have frozen Fridays and that's also a fundraiser for our eighth graders and that's when your child can order and get a popsicle or an ice cream sandwich. So it's kind of fun little treats throughout the month um, every week for lunch. Um, the only thing you can order day of is your milk. So we have white milk, chocolate milk, um, strawberry milk, or an orange drink. And when your teacher takes attendance every day, they will ask, would you like a milk? And if your child would like a milk that day, they can order it through their teacher. Um, to pay for lunches, everything is run through your school account. 
And so that will be on your statement. So no cash is required ever for lunches unless there's some kind of a special bake sale or something like that, which happens every so often, but you'll know about all of that when it happens. Um, other than that, I think that's all. If you guys have any questions, please let us know.